Hello, this is group one and in today's instructional video we are going to be going over how to properly blow out your irrigation using the Cirrus Rainbird database software. In this video we are going to add schedules to program by area and by station. In this first one we'll just call it by area. After that make sure that the schedule type is selected by area. From here we are going to select the T's and add all stations to the schedule and then the same for the rough, fairways, approaches, greens, and perimeters. Now we are going to add a schedule by station, so we'll just call it by station. Now you go through and select which stations and which order you would like the stations to come on. After we have finished that, we will go into the area versus station tab, open up the by area. If you look on the right side, you can see that these are ordered by which area they are in. Next, we will go to the by station tab. In here, you can see that we have ordered the stations to assure that we get the most amount of water out of our pipes. So uh, first, we broke our uh, course into four different sections. Three of the sections run four holes, and then the last section runs six holes. And this is just for maximum watering, or sorry, maximum blowing out capability, so we can run as many heads as we can at one time. So I'll go and show you guys in the map real quick on the four different quadrants. blowout program, you can see how we have our four quadrants divided up. For our start times over on this side, how we determined our start times is we ran each individual stage of the program and from the dry run we were able to see how long each section of the program took to run and then we would just determine what time the next set of the program could start up again. Now that we are at this stage, we will click on our drop down for program option settings and we select sequential from optimize and sequential just means that we will run our stations in how we determined our stations from our map, not in the order that the flow manager runs them. 
from here, we will make sure our water time is adjusted accurately. So we adjust it 30%, which is three minutes. And that is determined off our default watering time, which is 100%, which equals 10 minutes. Now we will go into our dry run, make sure our times are set accordingly, and we will run our dry run and see how it, our results are. So now that our dry run is completed, everything is ran for our nine minutes that it required. Unfortunately, there are a few zeros under our greens and perimeters. That is just from human error because on our ma irrigation map, the perimeter and green spacing is too tight and sometimes the mouse has trouble clicking on the proper head. Thanks for watching.